Hey guys, welcome to Coin Nation, where we talk all things ICP, Web3, and digital assets technology. I'm Preston, and to my OG citizens, welcome back. And if you're new here, I really appreciate you stopping by. As I got a lot to share with you today. I uh, haven't done a video in this regular format in quite some time, and I'm pretty sure you know what the reason for that is. And, you know, the community has been through absolute hell and back. But I believe in the space. Before I believed in ICP, I believed in the entire space, and I still do. Um, I believe it's inevitable. I believe we're on the cusp of the fourth industrial revolution. So, you know, 50% down, okay. What is that if you're talking about, you know, thousands of percent to the upside? But uh, you have to have come in this space with that kind of conviction to not be shaken out so easily at, you know, things such as 50% drops and, and things of that nature. But I think especially when we're talking about the Internet computer protocol, this kind of tech is not something that you can just talk about Fugazi Fugazi. You can actually prove it out. Every single thing that I've said since I started this channel, when I began developing on ICP, I myself began to see that it is literally true. Everything I said about a canister, everything I said about it being easy to build and deploy, everything I said about, you know, being able to ditch the cloud completely, stand up the same kind of software that you would on the Web2 space, do it on ICP and watch it just fly, you know, watch it do amazing things. I'm living that. I'm living that right now. And that's kind of what I wanted to share with you today, because I'm getting very close, about two days, of letting the white listers in. They're going to get in there and they're going to poke around. They're going to help me, quite frankly, uh, do beta testing to the software. I'm not going to let everybody in all at once. But uh, yeah, man, I, I, this is pretty much going to be another update on where we're at. But I think you're going to like how polished the software looks. And I've added tons. When I say tons, tons of new features. And there's something in there for everybody. You don't have to be a engineer to use ICP Studio. So if this sounds interesting, you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into it. All right, fam, I'm going to make this short and sweet. And hey, I'm not sure who needs to hear this. I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but Definity does not exist to make you rich. They exist as a major contributor of the internet computer blockchain. We all know that they created the network and they are sustaining it and building out the network for the foreseeable future. They're a Swiss-based not-for-profit organization with the largest R&D team in blockchain. That beautiful office in Zurich, Switzerland is not to make you rich. It is to continue to build the technology that we believe will be highly profitable to early adopters but that's what we believe that has nothing to do with them we believe that so i'm not sure who needed to hear that or had to have a reminder but i'm just saying listen to how some folks sound out there seems like there's a little bit of confusion <laughs> um to say the least but i just wanted to want you to check out some features that um i i was able to squeeze in before go live and I'm pretty shocked that I was able to get them in. Quite frankly, I did not intend to have some of this stuff ready to go, but hallelujah, it is. Um, probably the one I'm most proud of right now is I put a built-in course module to the platform. So right here in the same spot that you are working from, you'll be able to learn at the same time. And I'm gonna cover every single feature and uh make it such that you you really will not have many questions beyond watching the tutorials i'm, I'm literally going to go through every section uh, i'm going to go through every tab in the management console because i laid this out kind of sequentially right you go from a from bringing value to the platform via icp and using that value to create canisters, using canisters to uh, deploy projects, using projects to create templates. And then you can deploy your projects without even going back to the code editor. 
which a lot of people who don't code, they, they have no interest in a code editor if you don't code. So you can set up your complex deployment strategies through the deployment management tab. And then uh, not sure if you remember, but this beautiful profile right here that serves as your business card, your advertisement of your work, and just, you know, use it as a social tool on the blockchain. This is a reflection of how you set up your account. Whatever you put in your account is going to reflect here. And then some of this stuff is just pulling data from your user canister, uh, projects that you create, templates, and then activity that you have on the platform. Just a way to stay social, just a way to connect with folks. And if you really are trying to make a business out of this, then yeah, you could just say, hey, check out my ICP Studio profile. Here's the link, right? And I, I think some people are probably gonna even add a official URL to this. Right. Where it could be, you know, Preston.com or something like that. Who knows? But whatever. Uh, so, yeah. So if you it, it has that logical from left to right type of uh, situation there. But uh, yeah, man. So really proud of the fact that I got this course module set up and the courses will be established based on a pricing tier or a, I'm not a pricing tier, a subscription tier. The anything stamped with basic will be free. So all of the, the, the basic level tutorials that I give on how to use the platform, all of that's going to be 100 percent free. Right. It'll all be basic. But uh, the stuff, the people that want to be a little bit more uh, advanced, I will have courses on here for them as well. And it'll be pretty easy to, to bump up your subscription tier. You'll be able to hit this uh, new menu that I put here. It allows you to configure your profile and update your subscription status. You'll be able to hit subscription and uh, uh, ignore these prices. I, I don't. I, this is just uh, dummy, dummy data. But you'll be able to select your subscription tier. The highest level will be enterprise. Basic will be 100% free. Also ignore these options. Ignore everything you see on the screen, except the fact that the feature is implemented. It's it's wired up. It's functional. I just have not uh, done the little UI uh, stuff here. But yeah, you'll be able to easily add your subscription tier. And if you like some of the advanced courses and you want to bump up to premium or enterprise, then you have that option. And uh Another thing that I'm very proud of as well is I greatly, 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 greatly enhance the uh, user experience for interacting with any canister that you create on the platform. So as you know, everybody's going to get by default. The first time you log in, you get a user canister. You'll be able to inspect it. Now, this is going to be important because when you're on mainnet, if you're storing a lot of code, that is costing you cycles. So you'll be able to see right here, you know, how many, what's your cycle balance? You'll be able to see how much memory you're using. Maybe you, you're using a little bit too much. You want to get in there and delete some projects. And remember, on this platform, you can export projects to your local file system and then maybe delete them if you're not going to be revisiting them anytime soon um, and free up some storage space on your canister. Uh, you can manage the controllers and certain parameters surrounding your canister. But uh, the big thing is definitely controllers. I got two ways you can manage the controllers. Um, probably could ditch this one altogether because it's not as user-friendly, but it's there, you know. This is the most user-friendly way to do it though, to actually click remove and then add up here. But um, yeah, I, I thought that the, the name of the game for me when I got into this was I wanted to take this out of mumbo jumbo land and just confusion and make it something that's extremely easy to the average person. Right. So uh, I'm pretty sure everyone remembers the, the template hub. This is also accessible outside of the platform. So if we come over here and just do a hub, you know, th this is important because a lot of people may not may maybe you don't want to join anything. May Maybe feeling like logging in is too much. 
and you just want to see what does this thing have to offer well you're going to see a plethora of templates available on uh it's probably going to be icp.studio slash hub or slash marketplace something of that nature and people can shop around you know see what they like say oh yep that's it i gotta i gotta hook up to the platform i gotta get that template because you can't get the template unless if you are logged in so that's a pretty big deal there but it's good to just have a easy way for an easy path for people to explore the marketplace without committing committing right and i also stood up a a back-end office kind of thing I'm, I'm letting you into some some dirty little secrets here that i can assist in the event that there needs to be technical support if i need to help users figure out hey i thought i was on the white list but i'm not on the white list i know i have a high level where i can i can look at this stuff and <clears throat> check out if they are um, subscribe now i will say this gives me zero access to the data that is on user canisters this is at the platform level to help me manage issues that may arise or or just see what's going on i also have a platform analytics that will assist me to see how is the platform doing you know uh, are people engaging are people using it how i expect them to use it uh, where are the areas that people enjoy it the most, right? Where are the areas where people are having difficulties? These are, are very important things. And then I have some dependent services that the platform uses that I also can manage at a high level um, as well. Some pretty cool stuff. And, and another thing that I'm very proud of is I have a way to customize or or not even customize i have a way to optimize the ai generated projects to make sure that when you tell ai to generate something that you have the best shot at it actually doing so correctly so this is a rules engine that i created that i can get in here and, and like, for instance, if, if uh, the AI keeps stumbling over particular syntax problems in Motoko, I could add my rules in here. And the next time it generates a project, it won't have that issue. And I get to see the high level overall prompt here, the, the, uh, the base prompt, if you will. But the rule engine creates its own effective prompt that gets added to the base prompt. So I got a lot of flexibility here to make sure that when you guys get over here and create an AI project that we have a good shot at AI doing a good job on it. So let me see, is there anything else? So where, where do we stand now? Um, a couple things I need to do in terms of orthogonal persistence on the platform canister and i'm having i'm having trouble trying to think of other things i mean that like i said I, I did give the expectation that i'm a couple days out from letting the white listers add that i mean i'm, I'm gonna show you guys who are interested in the the white list i'm gonna show you what that looks like and what you can expect to see gentlemen and ladies gentlemen and ladies but i can't spell whitelist anymore i personally can't wait till i can take anything related to a whitelist out of the code because i got some stuff just sprinkled through but it's not a lot it's not a lot it's just uh, some basic stuff but it's going to look like this. You're going to see whitelist registration and all you're going to have to do is put your because and, and the open chat people will know what I'm talking about. Put your open chat handle in here. And then you will be generated a principle, a user principle that is associated with your account on ICP Studio. All you got to do is just copy that. Even if you don't copy it, like I said, I can always go back and and confirm what your uh your user principle is if you need me to do that and uh that'll be all you need to do to secure your whitelist spot again you guys will get probably like 30 days to just go nuts 
help me beta test this thing and we're gonna all grow together all right guys that's all i got for you today i hope that this video added value to your investment journey uh today's scripture comes from philippians 4 13 where it says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me he has got you covered simple scripture but very inspiring and thanks for bearing with me as i'm pretty much all day every day icp studio until we get to the finish line when we get to the finish line it's going to be a lot of fun and i can't wait to bring you on that journey with me don't forget to check me out on open chat you find me at chat.coinnation.io and always putting out the alpha on x you can find me at x.coinnation.io guys i want you to go in peace send out those positive vibes to your community till the next episode citizens peace